Calm down. Calm um, down. All right, Michael, who, who, I got to ask who, you. I got to okay, ask, ask you. Me, ask I'm me. about to just get ask edgy. Just I'm about take to get it. Edgy. Take I'm it. about to do it. I, I can take it. I can take it. Michael, should Christian <laughs> girls wear bikinis? Oh. <laughs> he, did, he, went, he went there. Woo! What's up, guys? How you doing? I'm Paul. I'm Michael. I'm Morgan. How you? Ah! She actually got me right in the Man. neck. Yeesh. <laughs> It's a good karate chop. My, my jaw is locked up now. This is the Paul and Morgan, the Paul, Paul and Morgan, Morgan show. Uh, today's video, Christian guys on modesty. Morgan's gonna be in it for a little while to get the ball rolling. Not really. Yes. I'm gonna pass the baton over to the new M in the show. <laughs> Which, can I say something real Please quick? Please do, man. So, I am really grateful and humbled that Paul and Morgan have invited me to be a guest on the show. I would equate it to being on Kathy Lee and Regis back in the 1990s. I'm Regis? You're Regis. <laughs> Kathy Lee. Who wants to be a millionaire? Um, I'm a little intimidated, but I'm ready. I mean, you got the mojo. I got the mojo. And so... Most that, of the time. That psychs me up. I'm good. <laughs> Summer is right around the corner, or it's here. So I think that it would be a good idea for these guys, these two godly mm -hmm. men, Thank you, to Morgan. talk about how to keep it classy. So good luck. May the Lord be with you. Oh, you see, you're heading out right now. So one of the things I feel like is really important, and it, this is coming from a guy's perspective too, because we need to be conscientious of this. But, Absolutely. But um, as a guy who's um, looking for someone, it's important that you know I keep myself pure. And even a married guy like Paul, he wants to keep himself pure as well. I do. And so one of the things that's really helpful and beneficial for uh, Christian guys is for Christian ladies, when you're thinking about something to wear, be conscientious of, would this possibly be a stumbling block for my brother? Michael, let me ask you this question because this has come up. I've heard it a lot. I've heard Christians on both sides of this debate, if you want to call it. And we're just going to go there. Mm -hmm. Is it the girl's responsibility to keep guys from lusting? Or is it the guy's responsibility to keep themselves from lusting? That's a good question. And this is not putting all the onus and pressure on, on young ladies. I think it's a two-part uh, issue. One, and I, I would agree with that. It's a shared responsibility. It's a shared responsibility. That is my short answer. Agree with Michael. It's a shared responsibility. I heard someone the other day saying, it falls all on the guys. I don't necessarily agree with that. I think it's a shared responsibility. Yeah, and, and, and young men, you know, we have to keep ourselves guarded at all times. And young women, you have to do the same. But I think it's, it's good to be conscientious. And also, here, here's the thing. It says in the Bible, the Holy Spirit will lead me into all truth. Either we believe that or we don't believe that. So if you're really in a situation where you're struggling with what should I wear? Should I wear this or should I, should, should I not wear this? Yeah. I think the simple answer should be, well, let me take this before the Lord and see what the Holy Spirit would say about this and see if he gives me peace about it. There's nothing too yeah. small we can take before the Lord. I like that. Let's go from just like the, the fashion standpoint. A fashionable woman. Can a Christian woman be high fashion? I think absolutely. Um, I prefer someone who takes the time uh, to wear nice clothes. Um, not that that's a prerequisite for you to date somebody, but I do think it shows they care about presenting themselves. I think that's very classy and respectful. Now, that doesn't like mean that, that like if someone doesn't get up and brush their hair and wear a lot of makeup, you somehow are less impressed with them. But I don't think that there's any problem with someone who wants to present themselves in a classy way. I would go on to say, absolutely. You know, we're not saying that you always need to be looking 100. But um, when I was looking, when I was single and looking for a wife, that was something that was important to me. All guys are going to fall somewhere on the spectrum and some guys aren't going to care as much. But yeah, that was something important to me was a, a woman who liked to dress well. It's not an indicator of where their soul is. Good point. But at the same time, I do I do think it's an indicator of how they want to approach life. Go to be Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, 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 philosophical. <laughs> uh, ooh, hi. There it is. And the Lord specifically says, you know, man looks on outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. That is first and foremost. Proverbs 31 lays it out very, very beautifully. Beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord, that's where it's at. And beauty is fleeting, but fashion is forever. Exactly. So yeah, seriously. Hey, there it is. Hello. There it was. Well, that was a good yeah. point. I made, I made that quote up, I think. Bumper sticker, maybe? Yeah. Morgan needs to throw that on one of our that, shirts. That's trademark it. Trademark it right now. Trademark. Copyright 2018. He's got it. Paul Mine. P.O. All right, Michael, who, I gotta ask who? you. I okay, gotta ask you. Ask I'm about to just get edgy. edgy. Just about take to get it. Edgy. Michael, should Christian <laughs> girls wear bikinis? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a vexing question. Um, 
Thank you for the uh, fake microphone. Well, this is a big deal. Um, I personally... Um, <laughs> Woo! This is it's, man, a tough, it's a tough this one. Is pointed. This, this is probing. And I will say probing. this: the way you answer this, there is going to be people on both sides. I personally would prefer a young lady, if I'm pursuing her, to, to wear one piece. And this is not a, a a judgmental type perspective with those who think differently, because I am not saying that. I would not question someone's soul, question someone's salvation, question someone's propriety if they wore a bikini. I, I can just speak from my own preference. Okay. Uh, I would prefer a one piece. You'd prefer a one piece. Appreciate that. I mean, my answer is in such a mature way. This is good. Dude, this I'm is telling good. you well, what. I, I threw him I that, I threw it to him. You know, I pitched that to him. You, you, you did, man. Answer that in a very you mature way. You did. That was like a million dollar question. You just filmed it. Film it! There he is! I will say, um, Morgan has, has worn a bikini before. But she likes to go high waisted, hmm. and I, I appreciate hmm. that. So there's varying levels. Of, there are varying yeah. levels. So there might be a bikini that is more modest than another bikini. Absolutely. As I was looking for a wife, I was like, I want a woman who is stylish and modest, who can look good in a swimsuit, but still not be showing everything. I think Michael and I both would appreciate a woman that is showing some. Is discretion the right, right word? Discretion. No, women. It, you are called to like think about your brothers and think about and, and try to to help them to not stumble to stay pure and it falls on the guy too to be like in the word be asking for god's help to stay pure to not fall into to lust so it falls both ways so let's let's love each other and help each other in that way if you have godly people around you and you take this situation to them in regards to a certain clothing i'm going to go ahead and and say for the most part they're probably going to give you a consensus the same sim a similar answer I, I love that if you're wondering like i don't know if i'm dressing um, appropriately, maybe I am, maybe I'm not, go to some mature believers and see if there's a consensus. Guys, one thing Michael was just saying is we, we want you, you ladies that are watching this to feel free in the Holy Spirit, to not right. feel like you're always questioning yourself. Yeah. Oh, living in fear of, oh, am I right. dressing modestly? I'm not sure if I am. If you're walking with the Lord, you have the Holy Spirit. Don't always be living in fear. But again, there is wisdom also in if you're just not sure about something, like ask somebody more mature. It says in the scripture, to the pure all things are pure. If you have the Holy Spirit living inside of you, you need, you need to trust him that he's a good leader, he's a good shepherd. He's going to shepherd you in the way you should uh, approach life. Yeah. And that is uh, the way you appear. We don't want you to start living under the law. Like Every time you go outside worrying if you're somehow making your brother stumble. No, that is something something we desperately don't want you to get into. Yeah. But again, it's just, you're living, you're, you're free in the Lord. So freedom is the foundation of this. Freedom is the foundation in just being that's mature. Good. Yeah, you know? that's good. Because we're maturing from milk to meat, mm. to red meat. Okay? Milk we're guys milk. and we like red meat, <laughs> you know, so. You know? How do you think we got these puppies? Oh, red man. Meat. Red meat, Ooh. red meat. Whack. Woo. Dude, <laughs> Michael, you are, Fun to have on the show. You speak with a lot of confidence, you know the Bible, and you're able to bring a lot of good stuff to this show. I'm excited. Give this video a thumbs up if you felt like we covered it in a good way. Thumbs up! Give it a thumbs up! Guys, we want to know what kind of swimwear will you be wearing this summer? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. You all have a wonderful rest of your day. Michael, thank you so much for joining us. Dude, it was a pleasure. We'll catch you again very soon. Have hope. And be free! Uh! I like girls who wear Abercrombie and Fitch. I'll take her if I had one wish. And I think it's fly when a girl stops by for the summer. For the summer. Uh. As long as their Abercrombie is modest. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs>